Hey guys, so today we're going to go over how to perform um, a translation on the coordinate plane. Um, we're going to start off with a simple example uh, using just one point, and then we're going to move on to using uh, a typical figure you would see on an exam or a quiz or whatever. So, uh, to just quickly go over definition, a translation is when you uh, shift or move uh, a point or a set of points uh, vertically and or horizontally. Um, so let's start off with something simple. So here we have our point A, and let's say I want to move it two units to the right and then three units up. Well, I can just bounce along two units to the right and then three units up, and I can just mark my point right there. Now, um, in terms of just translations, that's pretty much it, but we want to go more into detail in terms of um, terminology and labeling and notation. So whenever we perform any type of transformation, we, na we label the set of corresponding points appropriately. So when we go from a starting point or an original to a new point, um, we have to change it in the following manner. So since this was labeled A, our translated point is now relabeled as A prime. Okay, um, and this indicates uh, which point was the original and which point is the the after. So, our special terminology for this, since this is our original point, we would call this the pre-image. Okay, this is our original, and since this was the result of a translation, we would call this one our image. Okay, these are definitely terminologies you need to know. Um, uh, let's move on to uh, notation. So when it comes to translations, we normally use the following notation. We have a big T for translation, and then we have X comma Y indicating how we're moving uh, along the coordinate plane. So in this translation, I, uh, I move two units to the right and three units up. So X is going to be replaced with two, and then Y is going to be replaced with three. And this is pretty much it. Um, whenever you see notation like that, it's just telling you to translate in a certain direction. So what we want to keep in mind is that moving up or moving to the right always indicates some positive value. As we see here, we moved uh, right and up, so both of these numbers have to be positive. If we move down or left, then we would have written negative numbers. So for example, if we move to the left two units, this would be negative two. Or if we move down three units, this would have been negative three. So now let's move on to a more common example that uh, you would see in class. So here we're starting off with our pre-image, triangle ABC, and I want to translate this image two units to the right but three units down. So if we're just focused on, on the graph, we can just kind of bounce along the, um, the coordinate plane. So let's start off with A. I'm going to go two units to the right and then three units down and my A prime is here. Um, and I'm going to perform it the same way for B and C. So again, two units to the right, three units down for B prime, uh, two units right, three units down for C prime. And then you would just connect all the points to uh, put together your image figure. Okay, so let's say uh, we were in a a situation where they just gave us coordinate points. You can either take the time to draw out the figure on the coordinate plane or you can just uh, apply the appropriate operations between the coordinate points and the numbers that they give you for the translation. So let's start off with point A. Point A is 4 comma 9. 4 comma 9. And we have to perform a translation of 2 units uh, to the right and 3 units down to get A prime. So what we do here is we add 4 with 2, so plus 2 here, and we subtract um, 9 by 3, so minus 3 here. 4 plus 2, that's going to give us 6. 9 minus 3, that's going to give us 6. And we see that our coordinate point here for A prime is 6 comma 6. So we are definitely uh, in a good position. So let's do it again for B. So B is 2 comma 6, performing the same translation, B prime is going to be plus 2 minus 3, so that's going to be 4 and 3. 4 comma 3, good. Last but not least we have C. C is 4 comma 5. Same, perform the same translation. C prime is plus 2 minus 3, that's going to be 6 comma 2.
6 comma 2, and that's exactly what we got. So this is pretty much it for uh, translating uh, points on a plane. Um, uh, what you should definitely practice is uh, writing and recognizing the notation because um, the regions, uh, if that's what you're taking, uh, enjoys throwing multiple transformations at you and they might use this specific notation so if you don't recognize the notation you're automatically in a bad position. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you have any questions uh, or comments leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. Feel free to um, reach out to me to request um, more videos or for me to work on a problem and that's pretty much it. Have a good day guys. Bye!